Hey yo, what is up champions fam, it's Zeke 410, back with a brand new WWE Champions video. Now this is going to be short, sweet, and brief, and right to the point, but I had to make sure to cover this because this is by far one of the greatest surprises WWE Champions has ever dropped on us, ever, legitimately. This surprise June Bloom event, which they mentioned officially on their blog, they didn't give us any further intel on it, but they did go ahead and release it properly, has been absolutely amazing. Granted, it started out with a slow run, with some glitches and some errors, but it has been resolved by now, and plus, more importantly, as you can see, by the time you see this video, there is still enough time for you to capitalize on this event, whether you are free to play or pay to play, new, intermediate, or been here since day one, this is one of the greatest events ever, and quite frankly, the model, the concept that they have done with this should truly be applied moving forward to all future MLCs because they absolutely delivered with this event now let's get into it like a mlc you need to gain access to a certain type of currency which is going to be used to access another so in other words you need one type of resource to gain access to another type of resource that you can then use for purchasing reasons that is right the june bloom event does come equipped with a all new prize wall and when you see these rewards you're going to see why you should invest now the rewards here are seven milestones each milestone is going to give you 100 golden cubes but in order to get these golden cubes you must gain access to these white cubes that are offered in the blitzes as well as the tours in white cube bags so gaining access to the white cube bags is going to allow you to get the golden cubes that can be used for purchasing reasons now you get 700 individually so everyone has a chance at 700 golden cubes by themselves but if you get lucky enough and you also go strong in the leaderboard, you're going to walk away with a grand total of 1,400 golden cubes to use for the prize wall. Now, like I say with the Team Extreme prize wall for June 2019's MLC Team Extreme, respectfully, I honestly say this. Save up your currency until you cannot go any further and then make your investment purchases that is the only way to do these types of situations with the brand new prize wall grind it out go hard go all in until you can't go any further whether you are investing disposable income free to play income health packs etc until you can't go any further go as hard as you can get as many cubes as you can wait until the very end and then make your purchase that is crucial because when you see this prize wall you will understand why now as i've mentioned with this june bloom event it is similar to the father's day weekend event for ruthless aggression powerhouse the three eyes kurt angle where we do have a multitude of blitzes we also have tours now with the free to play tour you are going to be in a little bit of a pinch because the cost for these runs is 5k blitz tickets. Not everyone is sitting on blitz tickets. And even if you garnered and acquired the blitz tickets from the Team Extreme prize wall, well, you're still going to be having to go to the well if you haven't been properly prepared for this. But the milestones here are the white cubes that help you hit the milestones. Plus, you get the white cube bags that I mentioned. You get 10 of those from doing a hell mode run. But when we get over to the pay to play side of things, no lie, they're worth the investment when you see these kind of rewards. I go right to the uh, right to the money with the hell modes because that's where everyone needs to go to grind out things better. You can do the other types of blitzes on normal and uh, normal and hard, but the hell mode blitz that runs are where it's going to be at. But look at this. On the first node, you are rewarded five four star silver token cases. The second one, you're getting a three star token case crucial you're getting a plethora of coins you're getting diamonds you're getting a winter madness gift box you're getting headliner chips more token case opportunities and 250 white cube bags per run so just think about that that's going to help you clear the solo contest that's going to help you gain you know favor and position in the leaderboard so you can walk away with that additional 700 golden cubes so that's something to really keep in mind but what is very interesting the best part of this entire situation is none other than the event tours these remix tours are absolutely broken with the currency the rewards in general, you have an opportunity to walk away with more ladder ladder key pulls, so that helps out with the faction contest, so you can all walk away with a three-star gold guaranteed striker 
Kane, Multiply Gem, Destruction Trainer, plus a good homage to the MLC Free-to-Play Champion Lita with their canon relationship in WWE, WWF, whichever one you want to go by, but then it even gets better. You're getting the ladder key pulls. You're getting your white cube bags. You are getting coins. You're getting headliner chips. You're getting diamonds. You're getting an opportunity at more rated R bags. Yes, and even if you get to the final nodes, you get some very, very good shards for none other than the Red MP Coach X-Pac. So, this is one of the greatest things. On top of that, one thing that I forgot to mention also, outside of those ladder pulls, you are also getting winged heart coins to help out with that Team Extreme prize wall and that solo contest. You are hitting so many things in one tour. It is worth it. And what makes this tour very fun is that the requirements that are needed. They want you to clear these tours because the tour requirements are things that you should be covering already. Having a champion that's either three star or four star for every single class, acrobat, powerhouse, showboat, striker, technician, trickster, having a champion at three star or four star or higher that represents every era category from attitude to legend to modern to new gen to the newly introduced ruthless aggression. These are things that everyone should cover. And on top of that, once again, something I also cover, having top tier tag team faction champions for those links because this time around yes there are only four nodes per run for each single tour on every single variation but on top of that when you get to hell mode the requirements switch up from not only from classes and era categories but tag team requirements because as you can see here what was required to go up against Nash was a Heenan family member. And I use none other than my man, Andre. And when it gets to here, as you can see, I did not go further where those rated R bags and them additional Xbox shards are. This one required the diamond exchange tag link, meaning you needed a top tier DDP or Kevin Nash to get those rewards. This is incredible absolutely incredible a challenge you need to use everybody that you're supposed to have covered didn't matter you needed an attitude era champion pull out your best uh, your best attitude era champion whether it was sting whether it was texas rattlesnake austin whether it was harlem heat booker you had a chance if you needed a legend pull out volkov pull out andre the giant macho man this was fun. This was absolutely fun. I didn't have to go and invest a bunch of my resources or spend a ton of disposable income to complete these tours. These were champions that I already had covered on my roster, which you saw in my roster showcase. This was amazing. This was absolutely fun. You get to use your champions that you have properly invested in and you walk away with such solid rewards you can't complain think about this again because i was stuttering through it beforehand you get winged heart coins for your solo contest for that prize wall giving you more chances at rated r bags you get rated r bags within the tour as well you get your ladder pulls so you can gain them to get points plus spend them on pulls to gain more points for your faction to walk away with another free three-star champion you get another shot at edge the featured mlc champion with these rated r bags you're getting diamonds there's no losing in this situation you need to invest in this in this contest because when you get those gold cubes when you get these gold cubes you're going to go down here and go to this section right here we're going to get back to it and these rewards are for these cubes are absolutely amazing. As you see, they have a banner up. They have the blitz packs. They even have the ketchup pack here. And here we go with this prize wall. Now, again, I'm just so excited and happy to cover this. And I'm about to finish things up because we're getting close to 15 minutes. But I want you to all think about this, okay? Winged heart coins for your solo contest plus more shots at edge. Ladder, uh, ladder key pulls. To help out with the faction contest so everyone walks away with uh, with a solid three-star gold champion if you're able to max it out. You're getting headliner chips. You're getting diamonds. You're getting coins. 
you're getting token cases. This is like one of the greatest events to ever come. That's why I feel this needs to be applied to future MLCs because they just knocked it out of the park. And when you see this prize wall, the rewards within this prize wall, it completely shat on the Team Extreme prize wall. And I'll give it to you. The Team Extreme prize wall is solid. I still feel moving forward for MLC prize walls, we need a superstar section. The way they dropped those fuse packs was a good idea. Requ bring in, if those are the requirement, uh, the requirement of superstars needed for every MLC, bring in a superstar wall uh, like section. Bring in a, a place where you can invest in either fuses or, the cha or solid champions. Do something like that. Invest in bringing in health packs. Props. These are things that are going to help us get through the MLC. And finally, the thing that the event did, the June Bloom event did, that really gets me is they included more rated R bags. We need rated R bags or future MLC currency that's needed for the featured MLC champion to be provided in the prize wall. That's the one crucial hindrance. The one crucial hindrance. If I could spend my MLC currency on getting more rated R bags to get edge, I would be fine with that just because I know that's a guaranteed shot. But this is what makes this prize wall absolutely immaculate. Starting from the bottom, now we're here. We're going to move up all the way to the top spot. But from this one, 100 to 400. Check out the rewards for this section. You get a chance at a three-star bronze Rikishi, the yellow MP coach, similar to Elias with the black, Trickster Andre with the blue, DX HBK for purple, DX, uh, I mean, uh, DX Triple H for green, X Pac for red. Like, they're giving you a crucial coach basically for free. You get 700 cubes to yourself from completing those milestones. It only costs 400 to get Rikishi. On top of that, they have Natalia, the Blitz Goddess, take care of your Star Fragment Blitzes with her. Level one. Level one. Max out that Steel Health move. She's good to go. She's clearing out everybody for you. You can literally walk away with two three-star bronze champions from the 700 you get alone. Plus, you're getting headliner chips. You're getting coins. You're getting an opportunity. It's safe. And that's from 100 to 400. Moving on from 500 to 700, you get a shot at the yellow MP trainer, Akum. Plus, you get a top-tier female in Charlotte Flair. AJ Styles, Jake the Snake Roberts. So much wealth here. And look at the amount of coins you're getting. This is busted. This is the, the max amount that anybody can get solo by themselves by doing those blitzes, by completing the tours from the June Bloom event. You can get the 700 uh, cubes to walk away with the yellow MP trainer if you don't feel like spending disposable income on those banners when they show up. The same thing goes with Rikishi. The drop rates are still crap. You get, l you get lucky sometimes. I've proven that. But we get scoped more than often. Why not take the time to build up your roster properly? Maybe you need a top-tier female. There's Charlotte. Maybe you need a MP trainer in Akum or a coach in Rikishi. This is benefiting everyone, and the requirements are so good, you can't lose. You cannot lose. Then moving up from 750 to 850, we have Matt Hardy at 800, the Multiply Gem Modifier Boost Trainer. Top-tier champion by himself for feuds, daily content clears, Tag teams for showdown mode with his brother Jeff, or even now with Lita for Team Extreme, Matt is the god. He is a unicorn for many, and this is a solid opportunity to acquire him. But again, you got to make sure that you finish out strong. You accumulate enough white cubes so you can finish out strongly in the leaderboard so you can get those extra golden cubes so you can walk away with Matt. But looky here. Look what we have here. 10 rated R bags. 10. Maybe that's the final 10 you need. The final 10 you needed so you can unlock Edge at 3-star silver. Maybe it's the final 10 you needed so you can get him at 3-star silver and his gear to generate more purple gems. Which, honestly, his gear makes Brian overkill. If you put Brian and the gear on Edge, it's overkill. The gear, his trench coat alone, is going to 
benefit him so much. It's just like the Russian Volkov. But the rated R bags are here. Why can they not be accessible in the MLC prize wall moving forward? It's just something to consider. Then we move over. It gets even better. Austin, Texas Rattlesnake, Luger, Powerhouse, Volkov, the Russian, Jimmy Uso, God tier champions, feud mongers, feud machines, more safes, diamonds galore, 1K in TP. Anybody could use that. And we even got Luke Gallows, another solid previous MLC vault safe champion here, another top notch guy. Can't beat that, especially if you already have Anderson or AJ or Balor. Tss, beast mode. Now, this is where things get more, more insane with the rewards because now you're getting a chance at a three star goal variation of the Russian, Austin, Texas Rattlesnake, Luger, Jimmy, Gallows, Warrior. Plus, you're getting a shot at them again at three star silver, more safes. So, if you get lucky, if you get lucky enough and get 500 TP multiple times over, that is busted. Absolutely great rewards. But the final marquee, before we close this out, I consider a 20-minute video short. So that's what we're going to aim for. <laughs> the final one, if you get 700 from the Milestone Solo and you come in number one on the leaderboard, you can walk away with a guaranteed four-star bronze champion. Now, think about this. Trickster Andre, God Infuse, X-Pac, Beast Infuse, Red MP Coach, and again, shards offered within the Hell Mode Tour. So if you end up getting X-Pac at four-star bronze and you were already saving up shards to get him to four-star bronze, Duke TP galore. Save your resources with that color TP. And then we got Austin again. We got Luger. We got Jimmy. But on top of that, y'all, we got Volkov, the Russian, and his gear to generate more black gems. Magnificent. Ten safes, four-star bronze gallows and warrior. You can't pass this up. If you do not get that leaderboard win, you can still walk away with Natalia and Rikishi. If you do not feel like going that way, you could get Akam or Charlotte Flair. We're all guaranteed 700 if we, if we put in the work. We're all guaranteed out of the gate 700. That's without investing any disposable income. You be the judge of that. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Because quite frankly, June Bloom delivered. Now, to the homie Furpo, the community leader of WWE Champions, I hope you feel better. That's the reason why we have not been getting any of recent updates on this. That's why we did not get the intel on this secret surprise June Bloom event because we did not know what all was going with it. But that is because Furpo, he's been under the weather. I hope you're feeling better, broski. I hope you really are feeling better, especially getting back from your trip. But all in all, man, like, stay tuned. Best believe they're going to be delivering more. This is the type of stuff that makes champions worth it. It is worth the hassle to get some type of gold like this. No one is losing. Again, the RNG luck is crazy mad. So if you really need Rikishi, if you need Akam, if you need Charlotte or Natty, this is the time. You are not going to get a better chance at getting top tier champions, whether they're feud machines, they help out with showdown mode, blitzes, invasions, or trainer and coaching abilities. They deliver. Go for it. If you can get Rikishi, Go for it. That's all I can really say to you, y'all. Like, you got to go in. If you get lucky enough to get high enough to get Matt Hardy, go in. You're not missing out on this. Bad times don't last. Crown ones do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like. Leave a dislike. If you do leave a dislike, please leave your constructive criticism in the comments below. If you have any suggestions, questions, have any advice, or need it, leave that all in the comments below. But most importantly, if you're new to the channel 
or you've been watching for a while, but you just haven't gotten around to it yet, but you like what you saw and heard, and you want to learn more about this incredible game, WWE Champions by Scopely, please do yourselves a favor after this video by dropping a people's elbow on the subscribe button, as well as hitting a razor's edge on the bell icon to receive all future notifications from this channel. Mad love to every single one of you and my beloved hashtag champions fam. Good pulling, good feuding, good blitzing, because it's definitely a good time to be a champion. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I really would love to see this June Bloom event model and concept be applied to future MLCs. Everybody would win. I would like to see the way they handled the prize wall for this event managed into future MLC prize walls. Yes, you still would have to hoard like a madman or woman to get the proper currency. But looking at those type of rewards, a way to give you access to the featured MLC champion, more opportunities to clear solo and faction milestones, more opportunities to build up your roster from three stars to four stars. It does not get any better than that. Worth the investment. Pay to play, free to play, new intermediate, day one, day one players. Hop on this now. You still have time. But until next time, y'all, peace.